This is another webinar series at apexinvesting.com. Join us for free at apexinvesting.com forward slash bootcamp and get free access for 30 days. And it's is a be the sniper or be the target webinar. It's your choice. If you're not making the choice, you're the target. So make the choice to be the sniper today. Check us out. Uh, first thing we got, we got their disclosures up there. And then I want to do a few reminders, reviews, and updates. And then we're going to dive into sniper trades. I had somebody ask this morning, you know, when are the sniper trades coming back, like after the election? And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's tons of sniper trades. So uh, we're going to go through, and um, somebody asked me to review NQ specifically. So we're going to review NQ sniper trades. And I'm going to go through that. We're going to go through a review of some reminders, a few updates, and about the transition that we've done. Um, as you should know, if you don't, Ninja Trader 8 is here. The training is already up. Benefits of NT8, multiprocessor, copy trader, plot dynamic levels and flux levels for you automatically. You get historical order prints. Now, the downside of the historical order prints is that it has to plot every single tick and pull all the volume out. So it can take a while to load your charts. It can take 10 to 20 minutes. It may only take five minutes, but it's depending upon your computer. It can take a while. All right. So be patient, just let those charts load up. If it's taking you like an hour, obviously something's wrong. But if it's only taking like 10 or 20 minutes, that's not an abnormal thing. After that, it is lightning fast and very, uses very little processing power. Now, we got a new step-by-step -step training course. Okay, so let me um, grab that. For NT8. And you click on the sniper training. And under that, you're gonna see three quick steps for NT8 setup. So step one, two, and three. Okay, actually we got four steps, I guess. So how to place orders and all that. So we got semi-automated trading, copy trading, and then miscellaneous videos that you can watch. And I'll go over the new website here in a second with you, but that's where the NT8 training is located at. 97% um, of all issues that we get in the help desk are covered in the course. And if you'll just watch the videos and do exactly what they say, they will cover pretty much every issue that you have, okay? It'll save you a ton of time. And those videos are five minutes a piece. So they're short, quick, and easy, okay? A lot of you have skipped videos thinking you understand NT already and you don't need them, but you actually do. You know, um, so just please watch each one of the videos. There's just key differences in settings and processes that have to be followed. If you're having issues, start fresh and rewatch the entire step-by-step -step course again. Don't use the cheat sheets. We've added more inside the videos. And a big thing, make sure you have the latest NT8 installed. This has caused more issues than anything is people not having the latest NT8 installed. Another big thing one user was having a lot of issues. They found that it came out down to them having multiple workspaces with multiple charts. Only have one workspace open that has charts on it. Don't have two workspaces with charts open, okay? Only have one workspace with charts on it. Um, the training courses have been reworked to account for NT8. There's a new order and a new structure. I've consolidated the training. So I've actually remade the trainings. I'll show you which ones here in a second with updated rules that have evolved over time. So let's check out the new site. Notice it's a lot shorter. You don't scroll forever. <laughs> um, we've just basically pocketed the content to make it really easy. One thing we've done is like trading setups. We've got understanding the charts because if you don't understand the charts, you won't understand the setups. And then we have understanding the setups all listed right here for you. And each one of these understanding the setups has been remade, including the cheat sheet, and the uh, little cheat sheet you can pin to your desktop. But all these videos has been, have been remade and they're anywhere from five to 20 minutes, or well, maybe 10 to 20 minutes long. But they have, what I did is I went in and I took all the little things, all the stuff that we've taught in different webinars over the course of the past year. And I remade all of the videos to include all those little bitty things. So that way you don't have to watch a dozen webinars on top of the courses in order to get it down. And I've already had people getting feedback saying, man, that there's, there's little gold nuggets here and there I didn't even know about that make a big difference. So um, somebody says, you know, thank you. It's a lot of work to redo the videos. Yes, it took quite a bit of work to redo them all. 
Um, but it was worth it. It's, you know, I, I want y'all to be successful. So take advantage and rewatch these videos. There may be one little nugget that makes a big difference in your trading. And I've already had people comment that they're, they found those golden nuggets in there. Um, down here we have, you know, what's next. We got the automation and right here I put like automation, um, bonus trap door stuff, account funding, um, the bonus tutorials that John has done, like if you're getting stuck. Trading psychology, trading computers, trading taxes, all good information for you to know. All the webinar sections are all combined now in one spot. So we got different, you know, the latest webinars posted here, market reviews, Xbox, you know, videos, all sorts of stuff. So, and then if you're brand new, we got foundations, like what are futures and what are order types and what are micros and things like that. So... Uh, make sure you watch those, and I think that you'll really enjoy them and that it'll help you be even more successful, okay? And may help you correct some errors that you may be currently experiencing by watching those. Uh, but I hope you like the new order, I hope you like the new website, and I hope you enjoy the new videos. Uh, a reminder, we have the trade copier plug-in. 99% of all questions are answered in the video training. I mean, literally, I maybe you've come across one or two random ones that weren't answered in there. You don't need an email link to download it. It comes, again, in the videos. There's a trade. It's in the toolkit. Um, a lot of people have had confusion on what multi-broker means. Multi-broker means I'm trading with two different brokers like Ninja and Amp or Lilu or Thinkorswim or Interactive Brokers or something like that. So you're trading with multiple different brokers. Okay? Multiple accounts may be like, on Lilu, I have a dozen accounts. Okay? So... I don't need multi-broker if I have multiple accounts I can log into with one broker, okay? Um, you cannot connect to the same broker twice. So you need to build it. If you want to do that, you need to merge your accounts together. Um, it'll work on a single instance of NT8. Now you can put it on two computers, but it's gonna copy trades on one computer to that same computer to other accounts, okay? So, you'll copy from that one computer to other accounts on that computer, not from one computer to another computer. So it's not for trading other people's accounts. It's not for copying their accounts or, you know, trading for other people. This is for you, trading multiple accounts for you. Um, a reminder, if NASDAQ, and this sort of didn't go with the trade copier, but I wanted to put it on here. If NASDAQ is too fast for you, trade ES. I have both of them open all the time, okay? Now, one thing that people think is it's just too zippy, but they're trading like right at the open there. And I know we have the dark zone five minutes before and five minutes after. Sometimes that zippiness lasts more than five minutes. Sometimes it lasts 30 minutes, you know? So if it's too zippy, you know, either check out a yes or just let NASDAQ slow down a little bit. It will just give it a little time, okay? So, but like right there, sometimes in that first 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, it could just zip around and jump over your orders. Um, Markers Plus, we have the semi-automated trading software. Make sure you have downloaded the NT8 version. If you get an expired message, what does it mean? It just means that we need an updated ID from you. There's a new ID method and we have a new video on it. So send in the help desk ticket as shown in the training. Don't don't send us a screenshot. It says copy it and paste it. Don't type it out. We had one person we went back and forth with for five days because they were typing it out and they put zeros instead of O's. Just copy and paste it, okay? Um, if you have more than one computer, you gotta send both IDs or we don't know which one to replace. Again, copy and paste it. The help desk only handles activations. Any other questions are covered in the Marcus Plus Skype room. Um, let's see here. So if you have multiple accounts with the same broker like Dorman, do you have to merge all of them or each one have a separate connection? Only one can be connected. It's, in, it's the same broker, but you can ask your broker if they can link your accounts, like say multiple Dorman accounts, to where one login would log you into all of them. So you can contact them and ask them about that, Abdul. Okay? Contact your broker and see if that's a possibility. Um, white glove setups. We've had a lot of questions about white glove setups. They're available for 49 bucks. What is it for? It's for issues with installation. 
So after, meaning you have actually watched the course and tried multiple times. So if we see you haven't even downloaded NT8, that means you haven't tried, okay? What do we do? We install NT8, we install the toolkit, and we set up basic sniper charts. Really, it's something that 99% of you should be able to do without having to pay for it. It's for random and rare tech issues with installation, okay? It's not for, I just don't want to do it, all right? Um, it is not to get out of watching the course. It's not for being impatient. It's not for installing Markers Plus or setting up Simplicity. It's not for system questions, trade questions, or complete walkthrough of all the courses. You know, there's a step-by-step -step training course. It's there for a reason. Obviously, I put a lot of time and effort into them. And training requires a lot of patience, and only a little patience is needed to go through the course. So we're here to help you if there's any issues, but it's important that you understand how to use the tools for trading. Even if you get the setup, you're still going to want to watch all the videos or you're not going to understand things about NT. So I just want to make sure people understand what the white glove setup is. Um, the Elite Room, make sure you're in there. Don't just wait for me to call out a trade. Some mornings I call out a bunch of trades. Other mornings are so fast I can't call them out. Uh, you know, trades can happen fast. There's not always time. So big thing, ask questions, post charts. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The more questions, the better. We want to help you. We want to help you confirm that you think, I know you think you know, we want to help you confirm that you know that a setup's good or bad, okay? And be patient for a response. Others are trading. We may not always reply right away. If your response or question rolls off the screen, just ask again. So, again, we welcome questions, but make sure you've watched the trading course. So, check that out, because, you know, just to be fair to everybody who has watched the trading course, all right? All right, enough of that. Blah. Let's get into some sniper trades. How's that sound? Gonna dive into that. So, I had a good evening. Made $4,000 per account. Not too shabby for a couple hours of trading. Let's check out from this morning. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So, one thing I wanted to make sure y'all noticed was the detectors, these black dot detectors, which can be covered up sometimes by other detectors, but um, there'll always be a detector there if there's a TX. So, we're looking at this trade right here. And this would be a TX. Would that be a trade that you'd want to take? This TX right here. So that's sort of what I'd do. Is I would go through, is this a valid setup? We got a trapped X box without a power mini magnet. It's in the dark zone, good call. And it's going against DR. So that's not a trade that we take, right? And we're glad we didn't. Okay, now what about this trade right here? This one is still in the dark zone, so we can't take it. But let's just say it wasn't in the dark zone. We got a trapped X box with a paw on it. It's got red DR. It's got OD, which is good, but it's going, there we go, going right into a wall with a dynamic magnet. Do you want to take a trade right into a wall with a dynamic magnet? Exactly, a stack attack. Okay, so no. All right, so let's scroll and keep on going. And notice this is really easy. I don't even have to look at the chart. I can just look down at the detectors and find them. All right, so let's check this trade out. Can we take the trade? We got a trapped Xbox going short with DR. The time is 9.34. Do we take the trade? No, we're in the what? Still in the dark zone. Okay, good job. Saved yourself on a couple losses just by following that one simple rule of the dark zone. All right, we got a TX right here. Going against DR. No ODD or anything like that. Can we take the trade? No. Did it work? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. All right. We're not worried about missing out on trades that win. We're worried about taking trades that lose. 
okay? I'd rather wish I have something I don't as have something I wish I didn't. We got another one happening again. But again, no ODD against DR. Do we take it? No. Okay. We got another one right here. I mean, this is just in a few couple minutes, by the way. This isn't like we're looking at hours of time. TX by itself going against DR. Can we take it? No. I've never seen Shark Trade Error turn off, Keith, but you can always turn it back on. That would, that would, I would email that to platform support at ninjatrader.com, Keith. Let's see here. Going forward. All right. What does blue signify? We got a trapped Xbox with blue. What does that mean? Star low volume score ZOI. So we have to have a trapped Xbox. That doesn't really give us the trade, but the star low volume score ZOI does give us a trade setup. So can we take that one? So to know what red and blue and yellow are, make sure you watch the sniper training course. I go over each one. We'll go over them today too, but this means SLZ is what blue means. So can we take it? There's no level, so we don't take the trade, right? So now you may or may not know you can take trades when there's not a level, but it's really risky. And do we really want to trade possibilities or are we going to trade probabilities? Yeah, probabilities, the latter, exactly. I can't solve tech support on this webinar, Keith. Okay, you're going to have to use a help desk. All right, buddy? All right, so we got a trapped Xbox here. Can we take it? Nope. It's going against DR. All right, we got one right here. Can we take it? Yeah, we also had a double cluster there too. It's another reason we can't take it. What about this one? Nope, cannot take it. Ask that question in the Markers Plus room, Rick. All right, let's see here. What about this one? Can we take this one? Nope. Now we're only like 10 minutes into the trading day, okay? So I know it feels like we're saying no to a lot, but are we glad we said no to a lot of these? Yes. So right there. The DR has to be green on that bar and the bar before it. So it's not with DR. It has to be green on that bar and the bar before it. Alright, so right here we got a trapped Xbox. Going against DR. Can we take it? Some people were saying no, some are saying yes. The answer is definitely yes. It's a ODD trade. You got a new high, 53% of the volume before that. Okay. 53% of the volume. So definitely a solid trade and nothing's in the way. I 
Try to make it a little larger. All right. So we've taken one trade so far, and we've won. Right? Keep going. I know it feels like we went through forever, but we've only went through like 15 minutes of the trading day. Got a trapped Xbox. Do we take the trade? No. It's going against the R and it's going right into a wall. Both are reasons not to take the trade. If there's a wall between your entry and your take profit, don't take the trade. So two reasons not to take it, okay? And again, you'll see plenty that will work, but you'll see plenty that won't. And we're going for the majority that do. That's our goal here. All right, what about this one? We got a TX with a mini magnet. Can we take it? No, are we glad we didn't take it? Yes. All right, what do we got right here? What does this blue setup mean? This technically is a chop. It's two bars down, one bar up, two bars down. It's not two bars up, two bars down, two bars up. So it's technically actually not two three bar chop because it's not going in opposite directions. So we got a star with volume score with a ZOI. Okay, so can we take it? All right, we're pretty close to a wall right there. It's also a TX with an HD on top of that. Good call, Benjamin. So we take that one and it wins. All right, we're 25 minutes into the trading day. We've won two trades. Is that good? We've skipped a lot of trades. We feel like we're not getting any, but are we getting what we need? Yeah. forward it's just five minutes of time right there all right we got a trapped Xbox going against the R can we take it yeah you could say it's three trades because it was a buy one get one you would have got in twice if you're using the uh, we already got three technically so and what uh, me BOGO or buy one get one basically whenever you get two entries at the exact same time that are valid you can actually enter twice and if you use the markers plus you would enter twice so we're two or you could say three and oh with the BOGO on there we don't take that one trade let's keep going so yes correct we did not take that trade Okay, so we got a TX right here. Can we take it? No, we got a TX right here. Can we take it? No. That one worked. That one didn't. It paid off to not take the ones that don't line up. All right, we got a TX right here. Can we take it? Nope, doesn't line up with DR. It's not any other trade. All right, we got a TX right here. Can you take it? Lines up with DR. Can you take it? So one person says I wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? 
the flux doesn't stop you, but there you go. A lot of people are saying it. In chop, coil chop, two to three bar chop. See, three bars down, two bars up. We're in coil, we're in, not in coil, and then we're also, we're in coil chop itself, right? Up, down, up. So you got two bar, three bar chop, and coil chop. You can also look left and see that you have two clusters right at that level. And that's a little bit more advanced, but just a two, three bar and coil chop would have kept you out. And you'd be glad you stayed out. Is it important to learn the rules? Do y'all think the rules are adding up? To understand all these little things, do you think it's, are you see, are, is everybody seeing how important these little rules are? There's not a billion of them. It's pretty much the same ones over and over again. But they're massive. And that's why I really encourage everybody to go back and watch the new videos because I incorporated all of these into the new videos to help you, even if you think you got it down, just to get it down even better. Do you think it helped me trade better having to write down all the rules like that and summarize them all in videos? You think that helped my own discipline? Yeah. Because I had to really think, okay, what's every little thing? And put it in there. All right, so we can't take that one either. It's against DR, right? All right, what do we got right here? We got a Star Wars volume score ZOI. Is it coming off of a major level? Nope. So probably not the best trade. Let's see, let's move on forward. By the way, we're only about an hour into trading so far. Okay, let's check this one out. This is an interesting one. And I think this is one of the most important things that people miss out on. We have a trapped Xbox with DR. Can we take it? The automation cannot know all the rules. It just knows the basics. That's a very good way to put it, Seth. So one of the things that I teach and that I emphasize again in the new videos is watch out when DR is really low, when you're at the bottom of the hill, as Seth likes to say. Okay? When DR is down here, Seth actually called it, as he called it, the bottom of the hill. Don't take trades at the bottom of the hill. I say basically when DR is low, which both are good. Okay? I've seen more traders get caught taking trades like right here, like taking a long, like right when it, this is down here or short when this is right down here and get caught on that than probably anything else. That's probably the number one mistake I've seen traders make. It gets to the bottom, and I mean it's low. It gets to that bottom of that hill. And they're taking the trade and that's where they get hit. So no juice, as Abdul says. Is that an eye opener for some of you? So it's ran out of steam. It's like the rubber DR is a rubber band. It stretches out and then it pops back. Well, there's no more pop back. It's already all the way back. There's no more stretch in the rubber band to come back on. That will save you from some of the worst trades right there. Over, I had one trader that like submitted like four trades in a day and every single one of them, that's what he did. You don't have to see two previous bars. You just, I mean, that bar right there, you can see that bar and that bar, but notice how it's little. All right, so hopefully that was a big learning piece for you. Okay, right here, we got a third bar swing. 
Can we take the trade? There's yeses and noes. It came off of a recent high. It's a third bar swing. The only thing I would be careful on, okay, is I would put my entry below the deviation level. If I was going to take that trade, which I don't see a reason not to, I would just want my entry on the other side of the dev. Or, if you're unsure, just don't take it. Okay? Do you see what I'm talking about? Where the entry is literally on the dev? I like that it came off a recent high. I like that we got third bar with the mini magnet. Uh, there's not a... A third bar swing is not a reversal bar. It's a continuation bar. It's this one right here. It's the third bar with the trapped Xbox. Third bar swings, DR does not matter. Okay? The cluster doesn't hurt or help. All right, we got another one right here. Can we take this one? Nope, it's against the R. Can we take this one? It's with the R. Yes, you can take this one. It's a valid trade to take. It goes around, it comes back, and it comes back up. What is that called? DR's not bottom low. I mean, it's down, but it's not bottom low. This is called coil chop. If you enter a trade and it turns into coil chop on a TX trade, what should you do? Get it out at break even. Exactly. Okay, that's probably an eye opener for some of you too. To get in a trade and it turns into coil chop on a TX trade, Get out at break even on a TX filter trade. All right, we got a short reversal right here. Can we take it? Nope, against the R. We're still only like an hour into the day, by the way. All right, so what do we have here? What is this trade called? An elevator. Very good. Okay, is the elevator early in the trend? Yes, it's early. That's early in the trend. Late in the trend would be like way up here early in the trend we also have a trapped xbox with the mini magnet on a zoi what is that called an etx we also have a trapped xbox lining up with dr what is that called That's a filter TX. What is required in an elevator trade? You have to have a trapped X box with a mini magnet or a paw. And you have to have a cluster or two clusters. Either a cluster here or here or a cluster on both bars, the second or third bar of the coil chop. So in this case, double clusters is a good thing for an elevator trade. So we got three things going in our favor. Do we take that trade? It's also above the deviation, which I like. Boom, boom, profitable. Three trades, first hour of the day. That's without taking the iffy one I talked about. And that's without counting the BOGO. Okay? Now I'm going to stop for a second 
and we can do some more, but I think it's important to stop and bring something up. Okay? Some of y'all have seen this, some of y'all forgot this. If you make 10 ticks a trade, let's just average it out of 10, okay? You're making $5 a pop, and you do that three times a day, you're making 150 bucks. In a month, you're making 3,000. Okay? If you keep the exact same size of one contract for the first three months, then go to two contracts on your fourth month. You've made three, six, nine, and now you make 6,000. So now you're at what? So 15,000, there you go. And then you go to three contracts on your fifth month, you're at 9,000, you go to five contracts on your sixth month, you're at 15,000, you're at seven contracts, you're at 21,000 making a thousand bucks a day. And if you just stayed at seven, without me blowing the numbers up and making them infinitely huge, and y'all have seen me take 10, 20, and 30 contract trades. But I'm saying if you just stayed at seven and you did what we just went through consistently each morning, we're talking about making 20 grand a month. In the first year, making 165 grand. And that's starting off for the first three months, only taking one contract at a time. And then two, then three, then five, then seven, and not even growing it after that. 165 grand. Obviously, it can get a lot bigger when you add multiple accounts. I made over, I made about $40,000 tonight. This is a conservative plan for a year. Who would like to make $165,000 in a year? If you're making 20 grand a month, what are you making the next year? If you just stayed at seven, what are you making the next year? Like 240 grand, almost a quarter mil? Is this a plan worth taking your time and being patient to get to? The spreadsheet isn't in any section. It's just one I have on my computer. But it just shows that if you just made $5 a tick, 10 ticks, you're making 165 grand your first year, 240 grand your next year, doing three trades. What we just did that took an hour of trading, maybe an hour and five minutes. Let's see, what, what was our last trade? What was the time? 9.38, so an hour and three minutes, okay? To make a quarter million dollars next year, make 165 grand over the next 12 months. So do you need to keep trading? Or can you learn just to stop at three and done and let it grow? I mean, think about this. This was today. This wasn't some random day where I picked a perfect little example from the past to look for a good setup for a webinar. Like, I wasn't even going to talk about Sniper today, but somebody's like, where are all the Sniper trades? I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, there's plenty of them. You just got to pick the right ones, which we all did tonight. Y'all all said yes and no to the right ones. Yeah, somebody says, I'm so sick of all my newsletters now. Yeah. Throw out the newsletters, throw out all the distractions, all the junk mail, all the little shiny toys that every company's trying to pop in front of your face every five seconds. And this is simple spreadsheet showing you if you make 50 bucks three times a day and you just multiply the contract slowly, but not infinitely, we're talking about six figures. We're talking about a quarter million.
And if y'all would just learn to be patient and pick the right trades and not get in such a rush, you'll get there. I mean, it's almost like you got to go, I want to be there now, so I'm going to do this now and take three trades and be okay. Because you go in and you make 1500 one day and you lose 3000 the next. Because we all want to be millionaires today. And if the market's moving too fast, what do you do? If NQ isn't working, go over, trade ES, 1250 a tick. How does that look? You know, get get rid of the extra tick. That's the first year. And we can get rid of this. We can go down here and make this seven, seven. Okay, sorry. Now the number's three hundred twenty thousand. Something weird in there. Making thirty six grand a month. That's doing three ES trades a day. So if NQ's too fast, it will ES work. I mean ES isn't too fast, is it? If you say that, then <laughs> I don't know what to help because ES to me stands for extremely slow. So, whether it's NQ, can you combine NQ and ES? Yeah. Just net three trades up and done. Now, ES has actually been pretty awesome lately. I mean, just tonight I got two ES trades. If I pull up ES chart over here. Let's see. Where are they at? Right there. Oh, no, I guess not right there. Seven. Oh yeah, they're right here. Yeah, there was a uh, ETX right there on ES for a winner, and then there was a TX filtered for a winning trade. That was two. You only need three a day. That was two tonight. And by the way, they were within uh, like ten minutes of each other. And then you got a double TX on range bound that also won. There's your three trades on ES from 2002. To 21, you know, 10 or whatever. So an hour and 10 minutes tonight, there were three trades on ES. Okay. So am I making my point? Like, do y'all see, see why I say sniper is your bread and butter? I know so many of you trade simplicity. You know I love simplicity. Okay, obviously. But I also love Sniper. I said don't trade trades against DR. Well, let's check it out. This is an ETX, which can go against DR. Enhanced DX trapped Xbox with the paw on a mini magnet. That can go against DR. This is a filtered trapped Xbox, which is with DR, which can go with DR. This is a range bound double TX, which can go against the R. So again, this one right here is an ETX, trapped Xbox with the paw within two ticks of a mini magnet paw, ZOI or I block. We got a short, we got a long. Right here, there's another long. What's wrong with this long right here? We're ranging right here. What's wrong with this long? Top of the range. 
Do we take trades into the top of a range? Nope. Go down here. We're at the bottom of the range. Let's take it. So top of range, bottom of range, bottom of range. There we go. It has room to profit. This one doesn't have room to hit the top of the range and hit it to take profit. Yeah, the DTX, by the way, is also an ETX. Trapped Xbox with another paw on it. Good call. Benjamin, man, he knows his trade setups. So that's three trades tonight. I showed you three trades this morning on NQ, three trades tonight on ES. Is it worth you going back and watching the new videos that I spent all the time making that are only 10 to 20 minutes each to get down these little rules so you could do just three a day and work towards making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month? Is it worth just trading three a day? Because if you're not willing to trade three a day when your account's small, you're not going to trade three a day when your account's big. And I want y'all to be successful at this. All right. Well, that's what I got for the night. Okay. So we're coming up here on the hour. And it's really good to wrap it up at the three and done. Just like you should be doing yourself. Semi-automated mode, do I wait till the bar closes? No, I have to enter it before it closes. Can you trade the first five minutes of the market open at night? I give it two minutes and then I'll take it. How do you turn on the black TX line on the ES template? Just open an ES template. You're auto automatically there on NT8. Awesome. Y'all have a fantastic evening. And I'm glad y'all enjoyed the review. Hopefully this got y'all a little fired up about Sniper because I haven't seen a lot of Sniper calls that way, but I want to make sure y'all are focused on the bread and butter. Notice that, that Excel sheet's not based on simplicity. I love it, but the bread and butter, okay? All right, y'all have a great night. I will see you tomorrow in the trade room. Make sure to check out those videos. Bread and butter webinar. <laughs> Check us out at apexinvesting.com forward slash bootcamp for your three free 30-day trial so you can check this all out for yourself. No credit card required. All right, y'all have a good night.